Jack Woods, yesterday you went uh, gold in the Y14, right? Yeah. Y14 yeah. men's foil event. Today you made it a double gold with your win in the cadet side. Uh, tell us which win was more thrilling for you? I think the cadet definitely um, because uh, it's more challenging for me because uh, people are older, they have uh, more techniques and so I think cadet, yeah. And, and you mentioned yesterday that cadet in, in, is kind of your preferred event to fence, correct? Yeah, um, I get to use uh, these different strategies I have learned um, on uh, bigger kids. So I feel like uh, fencing cadets uh, it's kind of more enjoyable, I guess, when you when you win a bout or, uh, or even lose because you learn, but you get to see uh, what you're going to go into when you're older. Simply because it's more satisfying because you know that the challenges are, are going to be a, a yeah. bit more difficult. Yeah, definitely. Excellent. And have you gone double gold in a, an event before? Uh, I think I have, yeah, but that was a while ago, so doing it today was uh, really exciting for me. Nice to, to refresh on that yeah. feeling. <laughs> Excellent. Now, uh, yesterday you talked a little bit about Garrick Meinhardt, and he's, he's a fencer you really enjoy watching, mm -hmm. uh, partly because you feel like he's not the tallest guy out there, and you, you can kind of uh, relate to that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yesterday, Toro definitely outsized you physically, um, and, and today again in, in the final, uh, you were at a disadvantage on the size component. Does that in any way impact the way you fence, or do you, do you invest any weight into the, the size difference? Um, I think what I try and uh, try and change by fencing people who are taller or stronger is uh, the distance because uh, they have that arm length and um, I have to I have to really see where I am on the script and how I can uh, adjust uh, to where I fence them. So I think uh, the distance is probably what I have to change uh, the most. And yeah. after fencing yesterday, you know, getting getting a, an event a competition kind of out of the way, getting out of your system, settling in. What was the most significant difference you felt between fencing yesterday and fencing today? I think again, probably the, the strength and the height of uh, my opponent. Uh, and I think uh, that I had to change my style. So I think, like I said before, that was uh, the biggest difference. Uh. Now, you fencing at Lilov, you mentioned you have a, a great coach who's really good at throwing new things at you constantly, ad adapting his style to expose you to, to an array of different styles. Yeah. What, what did you see in the range of styles here this weekend? Um, I got to see a lot of um, aggressive fencers during the beginning of the DEs. Um, and doing that, I got to see uh, how I fence uh, like that. And then I also got to uh, attack myself a lot like in the last bout, I feel like I was kind of in the middle and then every once in a while I'd, I'd push him to the other end. Uh, so I feel like I got to really change each bout um, and I got to experience what my coach teaches me about defense and offense and I got to really put that into action here. Yeah, and it definitely it definitely showed. Uh, how, about, how about on the side of the Canadian representation here? I, I spoke with the Canadian and he said the biggest difference he experienced was the the patients. Canadians tend to be a bit more patient, at least in these age groups, and the, the Americans a bit more aggressive. Yeah. Did you experience that? Uh, yes, I did. I found someone from Canada, I think my third or fourth DV today, and uh, I, I could definitely see what you mean by that. It was a little more uh, patient, uh, and I think to, uh, to an extent I use that to my advantage, actually, uh, because Right when he'd get all patient, I feel like a lot of the time he was unaware that I was about to attack, you know. So it gave me a, a bit of a chance to do like surprise attacks and preparation or attack on preps. And do you feel like as more of a uh, the American style with your fencing that you're able to also push those who are patient out of their comfort zone by attacking and being aggressive? Yeah, especially because uh, when I fence, I like to move a lot. So I feel like when I move a lot, they don't know if I'm going to be really aggressive or really defensive because I'm always pushing them and they don't understand the distance. So um, I think that uh, that affects it a lot. So yeah, I think I've pushed a lot of people out of their comfort zone. It's all those uh, get the bacon drills, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Capture the bacon. All right. Well, you certainly captured the bacon this weekend. <laughs> Double gold. Uh, congratulations and Thank best you. of luck going forward. Thank you so much.